Ecamm fam, what's good y'all? I'm Marshall Fox and in this video, I'm showing you how to use the virtual cam and the virtual mic inside of Ecamm Live, okay? We call it present mode, all right? So this video is part of a series where I'm walking you through the different features of functionality of the software. If you haven't checked out the last video, I showed you how to record in Ecamm Live. So check it out here and then meet us back here so we can get into present mode, all right? Let's go. All right, y'all, I got to let y'all in on a little secret. Virtual cam and virtual mic, aka present mode, is my favorite feature of Ecamm Live. It's actually what drew me to Ecamm Live initially back in 2020. So why is that? You're able to add some, some boom <laughs> to your Zoom meeting, some sizzle, some sauce to that thing. You're able to really show up when you show up in your Zoom meetings, your Google Meets, Skype calls, Microsoft team meetings, whatever. You're able to show up like a professional, okay? So what is present mode? So present mode allows you to use the virtual camera and the virtual microphone, which I'm gonna cover right now. So before you're able to use it, you just need to make sure it's installed. So you need to go up to the output menu, go down to virtual cam and make sure that it's installed. If it's not installed, it will say install virtual cam and the same thing for the virtual microphone. You may have to accept some permissions inside of the system preferences and then you'll be good to go. Okay, so now this allows me to bring this feed from Ecamm Live into applications like Zoom. Okay, so I'll show you what that looks like. So here we are inside of Zoom. If I go to Zoom preferences, go down to video, as you can see, my virtual cam is selected. Okay, but look, if I just use the FaceTime HD camera, boom, boring. If I just use the cam link, this is what that looks like. So to compare to the virtual cam, it looks a lot nicer, right? But check this out. If I just wanted to use my FaceTime HD camera, what if that's all I had? If I come back into Ecamm Live and select my FaceTime HD camera, I can actually adjust the picture settings for the FaceTime HD camera. So if I hit reset, this is what it looks like, but I'm able to adjust these settings for my FaceTime HD camera inside of Ecamm just to make it look a bit nicer, okay? You may have a LUT applied to it, but I'm gonna flip back <laughs> to my cam link camera and then go back into Zoom and select my Ecamm Live virtual camera. This looks a lot better. I have HD selected, original ratio. I don't really tweak anything else. Then I have my virtual mic. And what this allows us to do is have the audio from inside of Ecamm Live and bring that into Zoom to make sure that the audio synced up to my lips and any sound effects that I may have inside of Ecamm Live to have them play inside of Zoom as well. So if I start a new meeting, I'm able to select these inside of Zoom as well. So, so as you can see, my virtual mic is selected and my Ecamm Live virtual camera is selected. So I could talk between these if I wanted to, but I'll always keep Ecamm Live virtual cam selected inside of Zoom. But check this out, y'all. When I go back into Ecamm Live, okay, and I can also hit record, while I'm recording inside of Zoom. So if I'm on a coaching call or just on a regular Zoom meeting and I wanna have my high quality video file, that's gonna be way higher quality than the Zoom recording, I can hit record in here. You know how sometimes in Zoom, if someone else is speaking, it'll take over the screen and record them. If you just want your own recording of yourself the entire time, if you wanna repurpose that, hit record inside of Ecamm while you're in a Zoom meeting. So as you can see, I just hit record. It's recording right now while I'm in the Zoom meeting, okay? But check this out, y'all. If I have any scenes inside of Ecamm, which I'll show you how to create in another video, but let me just select this one, for example. And if I have the virtual camera selected inside of Zoom, it will show inside of Zoom, y'all. Look at this. So this is inside of Zoom. If I wanted to do a presentation or have some overlays on my video, it will show inside of Zoom. So if I was to change this to the regular cam link, it doesn't show the overlays. It doesn't show anything that I have inside of Ecamm. It's not pulling that into Zoom. So that is the benefit of having the virtual camera. But even if you didn't use any overlays and you just wanted some extra sizzle on your shot, the virtual camera is helpful for that as well, okay? So boom, as a comparison, I go back to my default scene inside of Ecamm, 
come back into Zoom and you can see the difference right here. This is my little preview window inside of Ecamm, but you can see the comparison. This looks a lot better to me, okay? And if I wanted to add my logo on here, I could have that as well, all right? So check this out real quick. So you know I have the virtual mic selected, but if, if I selected just the Scarlett Solo as my input device, as you can see, my lips aren't synced up with the audio. That's why I always have the virtual mic selected as my microphone. So now my lips are synced up to the audio and everything is coming through as it should, all right? So that's what we should rename Ecamm Live to. Live streaming and recording as it should be. I forgot I was recording, but look, let me hit finish. I might be able to have my recording separately from Zoom. And that's it, y'all. Just make sure that virtual cam is on at all times. And it's that simple, y'all. That's how to use the virtual cam and the virtual mic, which we call present mode inside of Ecamm Live. If you found this video helpful, let us know. Please drop a comment, hit that like button, and don't forget to smash that subscribe button on the way out, all right? I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.